Um, it's got it's got energy damage and some high explosive damage. I, I like these weapons that are hybridized like that. Um, I think they're very, very interesting. That, that was a very good research station. No colony items or whatever, but some good blueprints and, you know, good stuff. Um, also, I was like, yeah, this is the right black hole. The dude's definitely here. Dudes is not here. Um, the, the, the other black hole has a, a gas giant surrounding it. That's, that's what that means. Um, quite likely, at least. Either that or man's got sucked into the black hole or something. I don't know. You check the event horizon for goodies. Well, I guess that's true. Normal, honestly, normally I just if I find the um, research station, I'm like, there's nothing else. But there still could be something around the black hole. I'm really lazy about it, but you're you're right. I should do it. When I go through and I explore like a whole system, like you know, actually do a good exploration, I find so much more stuff. It, I'm always like, oh, there actually is a lot of stuff out here. But then every every single system, I'm like, eh, it's not worth exploring. I've already found the research station. We'll go home. Or like, you know, whatever. So I don't know. I, I struggle with it because I'm too lazy, but I definitely should be better about it. We could have lots of lots of extra stuff by now. Especially just like in the in the debris fields or whatever, or in the asteroid belts, I mean, getting like mining stations and stuff. That can add up to so much extra loot, so I definitely should be doing that. Um, and again, shockingly, the dude was not there, so we're going to go to the other black hole um, just before we go into the, the star there, just because there's, no, um, there's no time. Like, we only have a couple days to find him, so uh, if there's not, a, if there's not a, a gas giant here, I'm just going to like lose my mind. Pursuing my fleet, but from why? You were like, you came from like super far off. You're also pursuing my fleet, but Why? Ludic Path Armada? Ludic Path. Why are the Ludics after me? Why are there two Ludic fleets just attacking me? We're at war or whatever, but like, I did, I've never had them like hunt me down like this before. Um, This is the fleet I wanted to fight, but I think I'm going to run away to try to get them to fight the Ludics for me. Will, will the Ludics engage with them? Should I go stealth mode on them? Are they, are they chasing right after me still? Should be all right. You were you were one of the Ludics. Oh, no, 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 no. They found me. Why, why are they attacking me? Cotton going for you? But when Cotton goes for you, you get like a note. It's it's not just like psycho attack. He's like, like the, the knight like asks you if you want to repent. These guys don't have like an exclamation mark. Like they, they want to, um, they want me to repent. Like they just want to murder me. Um, so I don't think this is Cotton. It doesn't feel like Cotton's normal, like, like, you know, quest line. I'm gonna try to cut back in. No, they're gonna see me. Okay, they found me. My ships are way too big to try to do this stealth stuff. Um, we are, we are way too big for this, honestly. It's just, it's just, it's not, it's not the play. Um, I mean, it's the play I'm gonna keep going for, but it's not the play. More Ludix? You're pursuing me as well? There's three of them? Man, I wish we were just a little faster. The fact that we're 16 speed is making this so much more like difficult than it needs to be. Oh, the ring instead of trying to cut across. Yeah, I was, I was, I was trying. I thought we were, I thought we were like far enough away that I could cut and not have them see me. But it seems not. So I don't know what's up with those Ludics. That's very weird. Maybe it's a, a revenge from attacking the church. I've never directly att attacked the church before. The path watchers. So this, this is the fight I've been trying to do the whole time. Are we in good condition? We are, we are, okay. So it's three stars, but like, it's not. This is gonna be super easy. Um, especially with the, with our new, with our new friend, the Paragon here. It's gonna, it's gonna do quite well. Good luck, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. But we should be fine. I'm more worried about the, uh, the Watchers than this thing. This fight's gonna be fine. Wait, are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, eleven. That's like seven times, like seven times sixty percent, which is I think correct. So yeah, we're not getting the modifier at all. I thought maybe we were getting the bonus with ITU built in, but it seems like we just don't get the bonus range. And again, sixty percent of eight hundred would be a lot more, or one hundred and sixty percent of eight hundred would be a lot more than one hundred and sixty percent of seven hundred. Scammed, yeah. 
I don't know why. I don't know why. Again, I hope the devs are aware of the bug. Um, it's a small team, so it's it's possible they're not. I might I might try to see if it's been reported and report it. I normally am not a bug reporter because I'm just not you know I'm just too lazy. But we might we might do it this time. I mean, all of these ships, ch literally half of my fleet chasing after a single hound, like free me from this curse, dude. Free me from this curse. That happens like way too often, man. Oh, and my little psycho ship, it went in psycho mode. It went into 1v9, all of them. I'm glad it made its way out. Okay, and I can't really attack, though, the wolf very well here, but the, the big thing behind the wolf, whatever this is called, I can take this thing out pretty easily. It's small enough that we can just, you know, put a lot of pressure on it and you know, cause it to, to, to pull back. And I want to get to a safe position, like, with my squad here. I guess I'll attack the wolf if it's here. But I do want to vent. That's what I was going to say. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that was the slowdown thing, I bet. The thing that makes them go, the ships go slow. It was really cool looking. Uh, but yeah, this ship is in, like, I wish it was going less ammo. It's already in, like, a bad way, and the battle just started. I'm going to have to babysit it so much to keep it alive. Which means it's probably just going to die. I probably will not be doing the uh, amount of needed babysitting. Uh... So I don't really like where I'm at right now. I'm gonna turn hold fire off, or hold fire on, so I can just, you know, get my flux down. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm back in line with the, uh, the squad now. Go high energy focus and really put the pressure on this Falcon. Hopefully kill it. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get the kill. I'm actually certain we're not gonna get the kill there, but that's okay. We did, we put a lot of pressure on it. Turn off the auto fire again. I just wanna, wanna lower my, uh, I want to get out of the way of my Paragon. That's really bad. Um, I, I could get rid of this point. We don't need to defend this point anymore. You clear yourself from whatever you were doing. Where's the point that we're defending? I literally can't even see it. I feel like I clicked a point to defend on. I don't know, whatever. I just need to get out of the way of my Paragon. Or the story. And turn off holding fire. Something else got in the way of the Paragon now. You love to see it, I suppose. I get out of the way, something else just gets in the way. It is what it is. While they're venting, while they're venting, I'm gonna try to kill them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that ship did most of the damage, but I tried. Okay, I get an E for effort, Jet. I at least tried. Okay, so as mentioned, this this fight was three stars, but I don't know why. Like we were clearly gonna win this fight. Maybe it was three stars because of the level of um captains they had, the level like of like expertise they had on their team. But uh, this was an easy fight. This is this is just free money. And we're super broke because we sent all our money on the Paragon. So free money is good. We need the money. Go high energy focus. Miss all my shots while we're at it. Okay, there we go. There we go. I um, mean, there's some ships down there, but I most... What are you doing over here? You, you're tanking the capital, at least. Like, the their capital is fighting a single frigate right now, which is good for me. But, like, you need to, you need to come home, brother. I'm not going to be able to make it up there to help you out for, like, 25 years. That is so far away. Paragon with its tachyon lasers. It's it's doing really good. Uh, it's a solid ship. It's very, very good. Where are you guys even going? Oh, you're trying to defend this point. I couldn't find the point earlier, but I think they're going back to defend it. Maybe they're just going down there to attack that one frigate, but I gotta go up here to kill the enemy capital. Uh -huh. Someone needs to go up here and take care of this capital. This, this, this Tempest is putting in the work, but it's not gonna last forever. Eventually, it's going to get hit by some missiles, so. Um, it did a great job of handling a capital and a, a destroyer, though. That's kind of insane. Uh, it didn't get any damage done to either of them, but that's that's not required. Just existing with both of those shooting at it made this fight, like, way easier for us, so. Uh, it, it did more than enough. It did more than enough, for sure. worried about hitting my own ship there. I, I was like, it's gonna get in the way, and it ended up getting in the way, so that's fine. We can we can use all the remaining ammo on this thing, though, to build up the uh, shields. The shields. The shields. To build up the shields. Or if it's not gonna raise it, then I guess we'll just kill it. If it doesn't want to raise the shields, then it'll just die. Alright, that was fine. Um, as, as mentioned, like, five times by now, that, that fight was super easy. Um... Yeah, I'll take it back. It's got a couple theme mods, but I'll pick it up. And, you know, we could pick up the, the little gremlins there. They're not the worst, but 
I, we, we, you know, we're going to be doing bounty hunting versus uh, the unique fleets, the IBB bounties soon, so gremlins won't really be what we need, you know, because right, we're going to be carrying home really cool ships instead. Anything cool there? Shrike and Brawler? Eh. All right, so I have no idea why the Luddick Path is, is hunting me so, so aggressively, but they sure were. They very much were. And how close to 400 are we? 60 away? We're doing really bad about that, chat. We've done, like, no searching. So, that's not awesome. Um, and I think the Luddick Path is still just chasing me down, dude. I think that's the Luddick fleet right there, just hunting. Like, just chasing after me. I don't know. We're faster than them because they were in the clouds, so I can't tell. But, like, what did I do to them? You no know, bulkier thing? There's nothing on the forms and on the wiki? Oh, okay, so I will I will definitely note that then. And we didn't search that, that area, but, like, I, I just couldn't. Um, I was too scared of the Luddick Path. Um, so we just left. Maybe, maybe I'll remember that and go back in the future. Um, probably not, but maybe. I'll, I'll try. Um, yo, honestly? They don't have any AI? We could take them on. And that ship is cool, dude. I would love this ship. Um, what is it called? Yeah, this is the Radiant. This bad boy is sick. Coming across one of these with no, uh, no, no Alpha Core in it means it's much easier to take. Um, it's a capital. It's a very powerful ship. It's, it's a big boy. Um, but I think we can handle it. Because, again, it's, it's, no, 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 get back here. It's with, it's with a really, really small fleet. And it, um, it doesn't have any alpha core, any core at all in it, so. It's not often that I, I would feel, like, confident fighting one of these. So I'm really happy we're coming across one now. I gotta definitely make the most of it. Um, we don't need to send in all the ships, though. So, we'll hold back some of these bigger ones. Um. Yeah, this should be fine. I don't know if you want to radiate full power, then Alpha Core is basically the only airship you can have. I'm okay with that. That is that is that is a that is a trade. Uh, yeah, because the CR. Yeah, that is a trade I'm willing to take. I would I would have just the Radiant, um, and I wouldn't mind also just putting like a Beta Core in it. You know, if that means we can squeeze one more ship in. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, and does anyone know? Does my does my thing this thing? What is it called? The special AI ship we have. Oh, it's already out here. The Torper, does this count against my, my, my skills or whatever? Or is this like the uh, the domain ships where you can, they're separate? Um, even it needs some of the skills focused on CR. Oh, okay, really? Wow, okay. So a single Radiant with a, um, I am going to go ahead and like form a, form a goon squad. Um, a single Radiant, except you can go forward because you're really slow and you're the Paragon. A single Radiant though might, it's like over the cap. It's worth, like, too much combat readiness, so... Maybe, maybe we will go beta core on it. I mean, we don't have any alphas, so we'll go beta core regardless right now. But maybe we'll stick with a beta core just to lower the, the, the combat readiness cost. Um, and yeah, this is what I wanted to do the defend order for, is because I didn't want this ship to get destroyed. Uh, it's it's okay. We, we did the defend order too late, but we did it um, with enough time to uh, hopefully protect the ship from dying. I just, I just need to get in there and like actually like protect. Oh, protect from those missiles. Speaking of protect. Okay, we used a high energy focus to kill that thing. It's not super tanky or anything. And our, our little dude made it out. That's all that matters. The little dude is alive. That's all that matters. There's their capital. Um, if we could kill the other ships before the capital gets here, that would that would really help. Uh, you know, just, just narrowing the amount of assistance the capital have it would be very, very awesome. Uh, I'm turning my auto fire off. Okay, it's not hitting me. I'm gonna go ahead and vent. I vented for like all of half a second. I'm gonna turn my auto fire back on. It actually didn't get turned off. I misclicked. Okay, okay. The uh, the, the debris was in the way. I didn't want to waste. Oh, dude, this thing is tanking so good with its fortress shield. That's so awesome. Uh, but there we go. All of its systems just got turned off from the from the like absolute wave of uh, EMP damage we're doing. That is really good. That is really good. Um, I'm gonna vent because we can safely vent because that thing is like it's in it's in a terrible way. So um, we're definitely winning. Like you know we didn't we didn't win right there in one one like one fell swoop, but we we definitely took the advantage. Oh, and the Paragon's here now too. That was all without the Paragon. Um, I need to get out of the way of the debris, and then I'm gonna use my high energy focus and go all in, of course. There we go. Yeah, let's go, dude. Let's go. And it feels like the beta core is a waste on such a powerful ship. That's, I mean, that is true. But it's only two less skills, right? The beta core is only just two less skills. Okay, this does take a story point. But, chat, we're taking it. We're taking it. I'm, it, it is worth it, chat. I promise. That that of any ship in the game is worth a story point. Um, I've never had one before. Ever. This is my first time ever having one. I'm very excited. Um, 
Two large synergy, three large energy, four medium synergy, and ten smalls. It can teleport around. It's amazing. It's good stuff. We will we will fly around with it. Um, so let's look at this right now. Well, this wrong button 40 times. Your fleet's total is 81. This this should be providing like 60. And this is providing like like seven or whatever, but then it's is it does it does the beta I didn't mean to take the beta core out. Whatever, that'll that'll let me check. Or, yeah, so this does count. This does count as a as a remnant ship. Or not a remnant ship, an AI ship. Um, are these the same? Did they get changed? I don't think this is what I had. I don't think these are the skills I had on this thing. Maybe they are? I feel like I had that. And I, I think I had the missiles on it, too. Was this what it was? Man, we spent so much time, like, min-maxing it. And when I took the, the beta core off, it, it messed it up. I think this was it. No, because it, yeah, it was this for the maximum combat readiness, I think. I think it was this. But we might change that up. We'll see. We'll see. Found an alpha core on the radio. It's just for it to fly. Okay, okay. So we'll see, we'll see. I might I might have to drop the ship to use the Radiant, but I if we have to, I'm okay with that. If that is, is that if that's what we must do, that is fine. Um again, the Radiant is really cool, man. Um, I'm gonna mothball it for now, so we're not messing around with it. Like we're not, you know, trying to like actually like take care of it for now, but um it's a great ship. And the other planet up there actually had a uh, oh, this is just an astral sitting here? Okay. Level five captain on it too. I salvaged it by just force of habit. No, I didn't mean to rip that astral. That's okay. It could be worse. Um, but the other planet also had um, supplies on it, or widespread ruins. This is a sick planet, by the way. Um, so we need to go back up to the other one for the ruins. We also need to put that level five captain on, though. There's a level five captain. We got to put on something. Something somewhere. Um, do all these ships have captains? Yeah. You don't, but I don't love you. <laughs> you don't by design. Um, hmm. What's the captain like? What do they have? Yeah, sure. You can you can go on this little this little destroyer. It's not the greatest thing, but sure. I'll put you on something else eventually. Um. So we could we could take on these fights. I might take on this fight though. It's a uh, it's got an alpha core in it. So I think I think I want that alpha core. And there's a research station right there. What are you? What are you? Hey, yeah, you're fine. Stop running from me. It's so BM. We're also pretty low on supplies. We've burnt like a lot. Um, no. I don't want to fight you all together. I will fight them separately, though. I think I can still win this fight. Um, this is a little tougher than the other one, but I'm pretty sure we can win it. How are my ships? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. We're really low on supplies, though. After this fight, we have to go home. Um, so we didn't get nearly as much of the uh, the bounty hunting done as I wanted, but. That's fine. It's it's not like we failed to, to get stuff done. We just got a little distracted with the remnants. Um, I'll go ahead and go all in, actually. Just because this, this you know, there's an alpha core on a big enemy ship here. So, it's worth going all in for. Um, and if I can get the alpha cores, that would be amazing. If, uh, if I could get a ship or two, that would be awesome, too. Even if I can't fly them right now, the Radiant will probably die. There, a day will come when the Radiant teleports into a bad position and kills itself, so... Um, Having extra backup uh, remnant ships is, is fine with me, you know. And uh, I feel actually like we might take on some really tough fights now. I know earlier I was like, oh, I'm too, I might be too scared to take on those fights, like some of like the uh, the peacekeeper fight or whatever, and some of the other more tough ones. But I'm like, I'm at a point where I'm like, I think we're good. And I should have done this way earlier. Um, it's not gonna like help at this point, honestly. The defend order is not gonna do very much. But I think we're good to take on some really, really tough content, like maybe Omega stuff or something like that. Um, and we're at a point if we lose the fleet, it won't cripple us. I was being rather conservative with the uh, the fleet for a while there, because I, I if we lost the fleet at, like directly after losing it entirely, if we lost it again, um, it would have been a real struggle to try to progress. Like we would have really, really been like down in the dirt. So um, now we have enough like economy, you know, production, like naturally, like passive income. And enough ships back in storage that if, if we do, like, lose this fleet, it wouldn't be the end of, like, everything for us. It wouldn't be awesome, but it wouldn't be the worst, so. Um, you know, I, I'm definitely down to try out some of the tougher fights now. Maybe maybe hunt some, some more remnants, try to farm some alpha cores, stuff like that. 
Because I wouldn't mind going um, Alpha Cord on the colonies, like having the colonies ran by Alpha Cores. I would, I would be totally okay with that. Uh, so, you know, if we get our hands on a bunch of them, there's, there's no reason not to use them. Because the Luddix, the Luddix will hate us, but we can just, we can just pay them off or deal with it in some way or another. You know, we can find a solution to this problem. And this ship is like, it's putting in some work, man. I, I'm, it's also just staying out of range, so I can't really hit it. But it's like, it's, it's applying a lot of pressure and it's taking a lot of shots. Like, this is a powerful little ship. My Archon just got disabled. Um, they are down here fighting the biggest ship without me, but it, the Paragon's got it. The Paragon's totally got this under control, so I'm not worried about it. I just need to land a shot, man. Just any, any shot land challenge, please, Hopium. It'll slowly die even if I get nothing done, but I'm worried my ship's gonna die in the process. Um, can I make this dude go this way? Can you go back this way? Because if he's attacking this little ship and it goes back towards me, then, you know, in theory, it, it has to go back towards us. I think we're getting, I think we're getting closer. Okay, okay, it died. Let's go. It finally died. That took way too long. Consider ship recovery. All right. Um, 3D mods is a lot. I'll take it back, though. I'm not going to take this one back, and we're not going to get the other little drone ships. We didn't get any of the big ones that I wanted. That's okay. Alpha Core? Nah. Got a Gamma Core. That's, that's fine. That's completely acceptable. Oh, there's this in the in the debris. I'm not going to take it, though. Um, it was there, though. Um, we got a bunch of supplies from that fight. We got enough that I'm willing to um to do one more fight here, because our ships aren't super banged up right now. Uh, we, we can do this fight and then go home. Actually, let me get this research station first. So I got the second auto pulse laser. Oh, that's true. There was an auto pulse laser, but I don't know if I'm going to put it on the uh, the thing. And that was that's a good design to have a good blueprint. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it on the uh, Paragon. If I decide to use the Paragon, I probably will. But for now, oh, and Zenith is also a solid thing. Um, but I'll probably just let the uh, Paragon rock Quadra attack laser, just kind of for funsies. Okay, there there was there was also the other planet here to explore. Hold up, let me do that real quick. There's a lot of stuff here, man. There's a, a lot of stuff in this system. This is one fuel. Let's go. Um, this is a really good system, though. Yeah, I'll take it. Are you learning that stuff in a beta core? Yo, whoa, I didn't realize there was 2,000 heavy machinery right there. Heavy machinery is not worth that much on its own. 2,000 is a lot. Like, you know, each each bit is not worth a lot. 2,000 is a, is a bounty. That is an insane amount. Um... So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fight these people if I can, man. They keep running from me, so it's tough. But there we go, there we go. Um, I, if we get this uh, the brilliant, that's cool. If we get an alpha core, that's even cooler. Um, I don't think I'll take anything else. But if we get the brilliant, I would like it. If we get an alpha core, I'd be very pogged. So we'll send in um. You know what? What if we went with like just a goon squad? What if we went with just our cool ships? Cool ships only. You're a cool ship. You're small, but you're a cool ship. Um. But what if we went like this? This seems cool. This seems fun. I'm going to sip some water and tea as we approach here. So we should be able to kill this thing, like, instantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to die. It's going down. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Go ahead and vent. And again, on this ship, spamming vent is, like, important. You, you vent like many, many times every single fight. That is a core part of the uh, the ship's like play style. Turn off the weapons just so I can go up here a little faster. There we go. Hit him with the, uh, the charge, the high energy focus, and he'll die pretty quickly. He, like the rest, will fall fast. All right. This was this was easily doable with what we sent in. We probably could have sent in like way less even. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's not a big deal. It's a little bit of waste of supplies, but it's fine. Um, now, Alpha Core or the other thing, Hopium. All right, the other thing did not spawn. Alpha Core? Okay, nothing. I'll live with it. Sometimes you get nothing. That's fine. That is, that's just how it is. That's that's literally completely okay. Yo, we got the Brilliant. We didn't get nothing. It was just sitting in the debris field. That is why you check the debris, chat. I mean, you also check the debris because it's debris. Um, you get, like, supplies and stuff. But we got the Brilliant out of it. And we could try to fight this thing like they're chasing me, but I don't want to. I just don't want to. So, what are you guys? Why are you out here? Like, all the way out here in Narnia. I think they're going to reach me, but I don't think they're actually going to fight me. They're, they're so small, I think they're going to catch up to me, and I can just leave. Um, so, yeah, I don't, that happens sometimes. It's kind of weird. 
Um, but we're, we're pretty much going to go home. I just want to explore the rest of this one, uh, this system here. But we are, like, out of, out of supplies. And I didn't even check the, uh, the Revenant. Um, maybe it was good, but it was a story point, so I'm not doing that. More dormant. Ooh, a Paragon just sitting here? Okay, we will not accidentally misclick and, and tear this apart. We will take the Paragon. Actually, for a story point and four, four D mods, I might just leave it. Story points are getting pretty valuable and we don't have many. We do not have many. And four D mods means it's gonna cost like a million to fix. I don't think I'm gonna take it. I think it would cost more to fix it than buying a new one. I don't think I'm gonna. I literally think the repair cost would be, would be more than just buying a fresh one. Um, if it had less D mods, I would spend the story point, but it's so brokey. Um, we'll just salvage it. That feels kind of bad to do, but I think that that's the right play. The right play. The right ply. But I think that's the right play, e even though it feels really weird. Um, I, I think that's the correct decision. But it does not feel good intentionally salvaging a Paragon. I guess it feels better than accidentally salvaging one, which I do sometimes. Okay, just leave me alone. I know you're chasing me, but leave me alone. Let me go to this mining station. Um, yo, catalytic core, that's really good. Beta and gamma core is also fine. 10,000 metal is way too much to do anything with, but we'll just move on from that. We don't we don't need to worry about that. Um, but five five gammas and three betas is pretty nice for this system. And all this is, you know, we can just sell this stuff off. This is good money. Um, we might be able to put this somewhere. Not right now, but eventually. Put a left note saying where to pick it up later. I just don't think it'll ever be worth it. Um, like, like, regardless of, of, like, you know, just from this point onward, um, if I, you can stabilize the pods. I, I could, but I will never come back for it. Um, I've done that before on, like, an end system, like, run, like, where I was just running back and forth, like, metal from one spot in the system to another, and I hated it. Um, so I, I just, I was like, I, I'm not, I, I, I will pretty much never do that. Um, it gets super worth it. Like, you can, you can make a lot of money. It can be very worthwhile. I'm just a really lazy gamer. Loot boxes are now put of the Project Zomboid server. Do you mean like loot boxes you have to pay for, Cloud? Like with real money? Or can you like trade a vendor in game? Like 10 cans of, of like, I don't know, stewed meat for, for a uh, a box of nails or something. You can just RNG what you get. Like a box of nails or something. In game money though? Okay, that's cool. That I appreciate. That is, that is a very neat design. Um, So let's go home. We just don't have enough supplies to continue exploring. And maybe I'm feeling itchy to get that 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 uh, remnant ship going. I might want to do that. Just like a little money in the game. Server's so gonna be up against Shunish. So that's cool stuff. That's cute. That is very cute. Um, so because money money doesn't have uh much like effect in game, right? Like if you find like dollar bills, no one wants those, right? You trade in like goods mostly, I think. Um, like you trade in goods that are that are you know reasonably good at maintaining their value. If I'm remembering how you said it, so this this should give purpose to like cash. If you find like a twenty dollar bill in someone's wallet, that'll now have purpose. When before I I, I think it didn't, unless I'm under I'm misunderstanding. Only those trade on until it's in, in, and now it's a uh, no, it's probably not a unified currency. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, so previously you couldn't like use money for something in game, but now you can. That's good stuff. Who are you? What are you doing here? How, how are the colonies doing? Are we still at zero? We're still at zero. I'm not going to worry about them then. I'll just I'll just go home. They can, they can fly around and be a pest. If bigger cities even occurs, you know, lose it, we'll probably use something else. Yeah. If, if previously you were using it as just like you were, you were like, you know, placeholder money thing where you're just like trading it at a, you know, a value you create for it, some kind of similar to how it's used in the real world. Now that it has an actual purpose, it, it'll probably lose its ability to be, to be traded so freely. That sounds about right. Now that it has like a, a proper in-game utility, using it as just a like a note, it's like you know, just like a like a bank note, literally, just a note saying this is worth ten bucks. Um, you know, like you can get five cans of meat for this note. Uh, it'll it'll be tougher to value it just like that now. But maybe it'll you know maybe it'll have some cool new stuff, and I want those um, blueprints back because I want to sell them. Also, shout out. Also, wait, wait, wait. Do we have um? Don't we have a hot world? Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.